How's it going, stoners? My name is Cameron, and I am the owner here at The Bong Cleaners, and today I got a new bong cleaning video for you guys. It's actually gonna be a pipe cleaning. Um, so the last time I cleaned this, probably last year, that's for sure. Um, it was a first time customer, and it is a Helix pipe. So I'm gonna actually throw up the before and after photos of that bong cleaning here. And um, yeah, I just actually picked it up. It's literally in my case. So a lot of people ask what I do to pick up my bongs. It's just like a, I don't know what you call those, like a gun case, but um, I've kind of added foam and stuff like that inside of it. And I also have a gym bag that I use if there's ever two bongs. But anyways, I'm gonna head home right now and uh, we're gonna start cleaning this pipe um, because I saw it when I picked it up and um, I knew I had to record this cleaning because the last time he cleaned it was with me and um, it's been a while since that was done and um, I know it's gonna be a good video for you guys. So anyways, I'm gonna head home and um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, we're back home. We're gonna go ahead and show you guys what we're working with today. It's very similar to what it looked like last time. Um, now, one thing is that it actually had the word Helix on it, but it actually got rubbed off. But as you can see here, it is pretty filthy. And again, it hasn't been cleaned since um, he's seen me. So I'll actually throw up um, text right here on how long it's been cleaned at. I'll have to look at my bookings when the last time he cleaned. But yeah, man, it's gonna be a really cool transformation. Then um, we'll go ahead and bring it to my office here. We're gonna take our before photos, not a before and after, because we haven't finished the cleaning yet. But anyways, this is a little tiny light box that I made um, just out of some foam cardboard. I bought a really cheap light box on Amazon that came with these two LED strips and it was the smallest thing ever. So I basically DIY'd it, got some at the dollar store, made my own little light box kit. I did bang, buy this ring light with like the tripod right there, but I don't really use it. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and take up our four photos and start cleaning this. Now, what I love about pipes is that I really don't really have to do much. I'm gonna go ahead and just put that in a Ziploc bag, put some DC glass in there, put in the ultrasonic unit, sit back and smoke a bowl. <laughs> All right, we're now in the kitchen. Our unit has been preheated and uh, we're literally just gonna take the vortex pipe, put it in here like so. So now that our pipe is inside there in the Ziploc bag, we're gonna go ahead and get our DC glass here, brand new jug, and we're gonna go ahead and pour some in here. And that should be good. That should be good. And then once we put in the water, it's gonna get displaced as well. So if we do this quickly, we can go over here. Change the water from last time. So you can actually see through it this time. If you watch my previous cleaning, you'll notice that the paint came off the bong and yeah, it ended up making my cleaning tank pretty dirty. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and take our pipe here. And again, we're gonna show you, looks clear and beautiful. Shout out to DC Glass, man. They're based in Beaverton, Ontario. And uh, it's an amazing product, guys. Check them out. All right, now that we have the pipe in here, you can't even see it. The bag makes it look like it's just in the water there. I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer for about 15 minutes. And we're gonna see you guys once uh, it's done. It's not a game, it's a red skin. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that time lapse. I thought you guys would enjoy the color changing um, of the DC glass. But yeah, as you can see here, yeah, you can't see it anymore. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and bring it over to the sink and hopefully we don't have to do too much scrubbing and it all just comes out pretty easily. And uh, yeah, if not, we might have to do a little bit of scrubbing, but we'll see. <clears throat> as expected, where it's caked off. Oh man, look at that. We don't want that going down the drain. All right, so it looks like we're gonna have to do a little bit of work. It is caked down there pretty nasty, as you saw from it falling out in the sink. Um, and yeah, I don't really want to uh, just really do another soak. So I'm gonna see how much I can get off with my brushes, there is a big enough hole here to reach in there, but um, yeah, we'll go ahead and see what we can do. Yeah, now we're gonna do another soak. This is nasty. Oh, 
you nasty. All right, so yeah, we are gonna go ahead and give it another soak because it is still caked on there. Now this is what I mean by getting your pieces regularly clean. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get this clean. But yeah, I think it's been like six, seven months since this has been clean. Then yeah, the bowl is really nasty. And I could tell that there's maybe tobacco in here too or something, but anyways, I'm gonna stop complaining. And we're gonna get this soaking. Take number two. So it has finished its soak. And um, yeah, hopefully it is now gonna come out at least better looking than it did. Um, if I have to do a little bit of scrubbing, I don't mind, but when my brush comes in and out looking completely black, yeah, I don't uh, I don't continue using my brushes anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and get that on. And yes, I did clean my sink. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and pour out the DC glass. And um, wow, look at that guys. It is brand new again. Wow, that looks amazing. Let me try and get my dirty dishes out on frame. <laughs> as you see, guys, mind my dirty hands. It's making the piece dirty with, with my gloves, but yeah, it's clean. But anyways, oh wow, don't put that. Oh, I just, I just, I just put that in the dirty. Oh man. Anyways, we're gonna have to clean the outside of it, but it is clean. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and see you guys at the photo booth. All right, guys, and there we have it. I uh, cleaned it up from that uh, little bit of resin that I put all over it and any other specks that I noticed on it. And yeah, it looks beautiful now. Um, I always love these transformations because it really kind of shows you what we can do here at the Bond Cleaners and what a normal person at home can't. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and take our after photos and you guys can see what it looks like. That's it for the video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was satisfying. And if you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button below. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and click like. And um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Take care.